So there were a lot of battles in our kingdom earlier um, for the ancient runes, over the ancient runes. No one succeeded in them, but there was healing on both sides. And our leader was part of it, and he couldn't participate in some rallies because he had too much healing going on. So I made a comment about, well, you can heal in batches. So the importance of healing in batches isn't because it would reduce the healing time, because it doesn't. The healing time is going to be, well, actually it will if you're doing shorter, less than an hour batches. If you're doing less than an hour batches, everyone adds a, a minute to the healing. So like, say I had 20 hours of healing, if I made sure all of my batches were less than an hour, the spam help would definitely speed that up a lot because in my particular alliance, I can get alliance help of, where's my alliance center? Why can't I find it? Here it is. My alliance center, I can get 24 help right now. So I can get 24 minutes of help. So if I were to send in, say, 40 minute increments, 24 off of that would get them down to 16 minutes, and that would reduce my healing a lot. But what's more important to me is getting my troops back into action because I don't have a lot of T4 troops. So here, the healing from the last fort attack we had has this healing going on, 600 of Tier 4 and 817 of Tier 3. And it'll take almost 43 minutes. Well, I want my T4 sooner, so I can shorten it by 22 minutes or by 20 minutes just by removing the tier 3. And so that's what I'm going to do. And then if my if I have 24 active alliance friends here, it'll be almost instantaneous, this healing. And then I can send the T3, and then that can be almost instantaneous. I don't think there's 24 active right now, just judging from the activity I'm seeing online. But even so, I'm going to reduce this 22 minutes substantially so that my T4 are ready for the next rally attack. I currently have these troops parked here for the next rally, and there's a lot of T3 in this, but the rally is full and it's more than a million, so they may not even need my help. And there's more troops here, and there's more troops coming in. You notice two are headed towards this. I think they're headed towards supporting the rally, but want to gather while they're over here. Maybe I'll go grab that first so they can't get in there. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm kidding. Um, I just like to send whatever peacekeepers, but I hate raising false hope that I'm going to be helping out with the rally and then not pay attention like has happened in a previous rally that they didn't succeed in and they were like calling my name in the chat. Come on, get involved. Anyways, um, that is a really good way of getting the right troops healed quicker by doing it in batches or faster by doing it in batches. If you do shorter than an hour, it'll speed it up. So if you've got 20 hours of healing to do, do them in 40-minute increments, 30-minute increments, whatever you can handle for your activity level. If you're not going to be on for a couple hours, then yeah, send it for the batch you will need for that couple hour time span so you'll have more troops available to you when you get back online so you can participate in the rallies and the barbarian hunting and all that fun stuff. Um, a lot of people have only tier 4, so it doesn't matter to them, but if they have a strong infantry commander that they want to use in battle, or if they want to use their cavalry, then they might want to focus on that type of troop healing first as well. It's all about what are your needs and how can you best fit those needs using all the tools available to you. And healing in increments is one of those tools available to you. So for now, I am signing off and wishing you Godspeed.